his rise to fame. Fireball warms up his fort, then cranks one on. Edward Glenn Roberts earned the nickname Fireball on the baseball diamond. But it was in NASCAR where he was a hit with the fans and a gem on the track, winning 33 races. In the record books you'll find Fireball's name. When I was just a little boy, about six years old, I followed after this man wherever he would go. On the weekends he'd take me to the garage. It wasn't very far, and I'd watch for hours at a time him build his first race car. Then came that happy day, and the crew rolled her out. They knew this car was special and would long be talked about. As for me, I noticed the colors and the shining... Fireball was a firecracker at Daytona, where he won seven times, including the 1962 Daytona 500. And Fireball gets a checkered flag. His crew is jubilant. Roberts and his Pontiac wheels into the winner's circle. 500 miles at an average speed of 152.9 miles an hour. An amazing achievement for driver, car, and equipment. Even without a championship, Fireball Roberts is a NASCAR legend. And on the sides of both the doors, that famous 22. Now through the next few years or so, experience he gained. He won his share of races and acquired his nickname. Fireball, they called him. People knew him near and far. Racetracks all over the world had heard about that car. Fireball, Fireball, the greatest racing driver of them all. Oh, I watched his rise to fame. In the record books you'll find Fireball's name. Then come a telegram one day and a smile come across his face. He had been invited to the big 500 race. The problem was to qualify, and that he had done with ease. He won the pole position and should win the race with ease. As the race got started, Fireball, he pushed it down.